What's going on, guys? Welcome back to so welcome back to a major welcome to a Majora's Mask bonus video. I promise I was gonna show I promise I was gonna show the fierce DD mask. I will do right here. Dawn of the first day, seven trials remain. Now, uh, what we're going to do is that we're going to go to all the bosses. Now, uh, we, we use the Fierce Deities Mask yet. We can only use it on bosses. Now, we're going to soar to all the temples and we're going to take out all the bosses. So, we're going to, uh, first of all, we're going to sort of Woodfall. I'm just going to show all four bosses with the Fierce Deities Mask. And that's really it. Anyway, now we're at Woodfall, and, uh, I totally forgot I need to, I, I haven't, it's been a while since I've been to Woodfall, so I guess we need to, uh, I guess we need to, uh, play the, uh, not as a human Link, but as Daken Link, we need to play the Sonata of Awakening. Yeah, remember how quickly we took Odawa out the first time? I can only, I can't even, like, imagine how quickly we're going to take out the Odawa with the Fear of the Mask, because... The Fierce Deities Mask, that is the strongest sword in the whole game. It's even stronger than the Great Fairy Sword. So I guess we can consider this video the true finale, because um, even though I'm really not going to show the ending twice, because I don't really see the need to. We've done everything in the game. We've already shown the ending. We just ha have yet. I just have yet to show the Fierce Deities Mask. Now we're gonna go over uh, here. Go to the Lair of the Temple's boss, yes. And now, the boss rooms are the only places in the game we can use the Fierce Deities mask. Now we can show it up. And the Fierce Deities mask is very much based off of Adult Link and Ocarina of Time. And even his, like, sword is kind of based off the big on sword and Ocarina of Time, like the Great Pharaoh's sword. Alright, let's see how quickly we take out Odawa. Alright, here we go. And another thing about the Great Pharaoh's sword, it can suit beams. <laughs> that was it! That was it! That was it. I'll see you guys at GOAT. Okay, so now we're, since we're back at, uh, we're back at Snowhead, and, uh, we just need to fight GOAT again. We need to play the Goron Lullaby. It's also been a while since so I've done this. And arrows, though. We just need to play the Goron Lullaby. I just don't remember what it was, because my mom have played this. I used to think that I recorded the Snowhead events like two months ago. So now we are going to, uh, let's not use up too much magic. Now there's one specific way we can fight, there's one specific way I would prefer to fight Goat with a Fierce DD mask. And it's the more consistent way, because you can fight with the Fierce DD mask, but you have to get the beams to hit him. And it's not always the easiest. I should have just cut out this attempt at, like, um, what am I trying to say? I probably should cut out the attempts at, you know, like... What am I trying to say? Getting the, uh... Getting the, um... To the temple, but, uh, we've seen this since we've seen this before, but... We don't have to go in, We don't have to go and do the whole temple all over again. We just have to do the uh, part where, like, um... We just... Go inside the temple. Because I saw in, like, the AVGM review, like, uh, he made a huge meltdown and he had to refight a boss, but, like... At the same time, like... And it was a little Majora's Mask can tell you, like, you can just go straight to the boss and we've already beaten the temple. 
Like, it really doesn't make as much time. As much time. Like, part of the reason I made this playthrough in the first place is I, I legit was pissed that the top-ranking videos on YouTube serve for people trashing the game. We have it. There are some arrows right here. So we got 20-ish arrows. We just need to get out our fire arrows one last time. So how I usually fight go with the Fierce Eating Master, I use the Golem Master to roll them over and the Fierce Eating Master to finish them off. Mass Mechanical Monster Goat. And thankfully this is the last time we're going to see Goat for a while. But come 2024 I might play through this game again on my own time. Like I said, I play, I've said this multiple times this out in this playthrough. I play through this game once a year. Maybe sometimes more than once a year. Like this time it was more than once a year because I was once to practice this and once to do this playthrough. Now I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to use the Gorn Mouse to knock him over. Except that isn't quite working. It's a safe method that I think just uses last time. With the Phoenix Easy Master, you have to wait for Goat to go around. Only your magic gets refilled. It's much easier to find with a uh, more with a uh, longer magic meter. Okay, so let's get the Vestidi's mask. I'm waiting for him to come around because he should be almost down. Let's, wait see, let's see if we can wait for him to come around. Avoid the uh, falling pillars while we're at it. We just need to wait for him to come back down. I will see you guys, and I, I just gotta get out my Zora mask. I'll see you guys at Georg. To just uh, get to the portal, wherever the hell it ends. That's the thing that kind of sucks about like Goat is that like if you beat him in like a certain spot, like um, basically like um, the portal could be on like the other side. Yeah, the portal's on the other side. I'll see you guys at, at Georg. So now back at Georg. Georg's gonna be so fucking easy with the Fierce Deity Mask. I love it already. Because I've just... You, you'd be surprised. That you, you're not, you should be surprised at how much you can insta-kill these bosses. You know, because of that first-person view that's, like, originated in Jaws and has been parodied many times, I actually legit have a fear of deep water because of that. So 
So now we're gonna fight Bjorg and uh just uh get him there and uh He's already almost down, because he's gonna send his babies. So yeah, never underestimate the power of the Fierce Deez Master. You can see why I didn't want to use it right away. I wanted to fight the final boss legit. I'll see you at Stone Tower. Anyway, so now back at Stone Tower, I totally forgot you have to flip the temple upside down to warp instantly into the boss. So, uh, yeah, here it is. This time for real. I will say, even though I personally like Stone Tower Temple, I can see why people don't like it, because they constantly need to flip the, uh, temple upside down if you need to get all the stray fairies. But, uh, yeah, it's the last of the bosses, and then I'll just do Majora. This is Twin Mold. Actually, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a Mac. This might not be as easy as I thought. We're gonna get two hits on him. As long as we can destroy one of them, it should be fine. Maybe I should have been wiser and brought Chateau Romani along this magic. Yeah! Wow, I'm the, I don't think I remember, maybe in the past I've had this, I think that back, I think that this is a hard, maybe this is not as easy as I thought it would be with the Fierce DD mask. Just wait till one of them, if one of them goes, then both of them go. Fucking up this so badly, like I've done this before. I'm just say approaching the night of the first day. Right, we killed one of them. Note to self, know what you're doing before you fight Twin Moles with the Fierce DD Mask, because it's not as easy as you think it is.
Maybe I, I, I definitely should have bought Chateau Romani before coming here. I had the first day. Thanks for interrupting the game. You gotta wanna strike the tail with the fear CD. It's hard when it's costing moving. Twin World Glass this long because I don't normally fight with the Fierce DD mask. I'm almost out of magic, also. Beat him already? Jesus Christ. All right, there's more magic. There's more magic. Thank God. I'll see you guys at Majora. Anyway, so now with that cutscene skipped, we're just going to go straight to Majora. We don't need to do this mask thing again because there's really no point. We got the heart pieces, so, like, there's no point in doing all that again. So we're just going to go straight to Majora. You want to go straight to Majora if you don't have all the masks or if you already have the Fierce Deities mask. Or if you just want to use your Deku Gron or Zora. You have only weak masks. So you'll play? Yes. Well, there we go. Wait to see what mask I have. There is a reason the first time we went here in the finale, I did not want to insta-kill this thing. If you can actually take out this final boss really fast with the Fierce DD mask, and this is how the game designers intended you to fight, to do this fight. Now, maybe I should have gotten Chateau Romani before Nier, but maybe not. I don't think I really needed it much. Because you can just take all, all these phases out in just a few hits. Alright, let's, let's start. Uh, let's go! That's two hits. All the remains take one hit. The second phase is already down. Now, my favorite is when you face Majora's Incarnation with the Fierce Deity Mask. Look at how fucking fast this takes. Majora's Incarnation, you're not gonna last very long. Or maybe you will.
That's all it took. <laughs> now, what's supposed to happen first? Me beating Majora's Wrath or running out of magic? Be fair, I didn't go in here with full magic because I didn't think I needed it. Like Majora's Wrath. That's Majora's Mask, all final. We don't need to see the ending a second time. I'll see you guys later. Bye.